We take the conversation now to Zambia, where thieves have broken into the highly guarded residence of former Zambia president Edgar Lungu and stole two smart television sets valued at 66,000 kwacha, which is the equivalent of 4,116 US dollars. Police spokesperson Ray Hamunga said the breaking at the residence on 2nd Street in Lusaka's Ibex Hill area occurred on Tuesday, at, um, Tuesday, adding that investigation has commenced. But Patriotic Front, a chairperson for information and publicity, Rafael Nakachinda, has advised President Hakinde Hichilema to take responsibility for the incident adding that former President Edgar Lungu's life is at stake. Nakachinda accused the state of orchestrating the alleged breaking in, adding that what has happened is unique as it has never happened in Zambia's history. Well, now joining us this morning on Breakfast Central is Honorable Rafael Nakachinda. He is the chairperson in Information and Publicity, Patriotic Front Party. It's good to have you join us. Thanks for your time this morning, Honorable. Well, thank you very much and good morning. Good morning. Let's get your reaction to this very sad incident at the home of the former president. Do you, you know, like it said, it's it's abnormal, but, you know, what are your thoughts, you know, surrounding this? Well, first of all, we have every reason to uh, conclude uh, that this very sad development uh, is uh, basically orchestrated by the state. Uh, at the time that the, the, the former president was leaving his uh, official residence or status, as you, uh, you know it in Zambia, uh, there was the confusion in terms of um, which place he needed to, to go and reside. Initially, there were indications that he could reside at uh, a state lodge for um, a few months. All right. Uh, we, of course, uh, will continue to fine tune. Uh, Honorable, can you hear us now? Together? Yes, go ahead, please. Yes. Yeah. So, unfortunately, uh, that didn't happen, and then a hazard arrangement was made for him to occupy his current residence. And uh, he is entitled to a certain uh, type of outfit or size of outfit for security. But systematically, the current government has been with, withdrawing officers uh, from his office, those that are responsible to um, secure uh, him as well as his family. Uh, to to a point of reducing him to just having two officers at his residence. I'm sure you can imagine, how can you have a former head of state only have two officers in a compound to secure him uh, in the night? Uh, we had this uh, ADC, the aide de camp, arrested on trumped up charges, and uh, we believe it was basically just an excuse to have them stripped of all apparatus, guns, and so on, um, uh, in the name of the fact that there are investigations going on, uh, to, ma to make even the president more vulnerable, the former president more vulnerable uh, in terms of his security. Honorable uh, Rafael, I, I think at this, at this point, I'd like to ask you, why, why would you say that the president withdrew his security detail was there any deliberate, has there any explanation be given as to the reason why he's reduced the former president's security detail to just two? And what should be the regular number of security uh, detail or the, the regular amount he should have? What are the very, very strong statements that have been made there talking about the fact that the former president has been left vulnerable and his security detail being reduced to just two? Um, it will be interesting to know why that, you know, why that has happened. Oh, well, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's one thing to say uh, that uh, President Hakinde Chilema, you know, has orchestrated the reduction in, in former President Ed Elungu's security. And then another thing to say that this, you know, um, attack on his residence or this robbery it was orchestrated by the, you know, current uh, government. So it's, it's two different things. Two different things, uh, yeah. yeah. So is one, your lack of responsibility in showing up for him yeah. left him vulnerable. Or 
you actually masterminded this. Yes. So yes, those are very two two very different statements, which we are hoping that you know we can have him join us back to clarify on, so we can. Absolutely, and of course, you know, if there was going to be an attack on his residency, we wouldn't be people still in televisions. Or if it was going to be an, a direct attack on the former president Edgar Lungu, it wouldn't be just to steal televisions. It would maybe be something more. Luckily, it's nothing more than this, Thank and we you. hope that these people would be apprehended. And, of course, will be thoroughly investigated or questioned, you know, so we we'll understand what exactly is playing out here. But I would also, you know, maybe agree with him that, you know, former President Edgar Lungu may need more security detail. Yeah, if he's been, you if know, the security detail has been reduced to two, of course he should need yeah, more security detail. Not necessarily at the, you know, extreme expense of the state, but, you know, it should be normal that a former president should have a basic, you know, number. I mean, of, yesterday um, we spoke about South Africa and we were talking about the fact that uh, the judge, you know, still had the benefits that he had when he was a judge. When you hold certain offices, yes. the moment you leave power, you are able to retain some of the benefits, not because absolutely. the state is being, you know, a spendthrift, but because these are absolutely necessary. Imagine a President Goodluck Emile Jonathan just walking down the streets of Victoria Island, he'll be mobbed. Because, oh, yes, you know, he still has that influence as a former president. Popularity. Exactly. So, so it's important. We would um, unfortunately not be able to complete the conversation now, but we look forward to having Honorable Raphael. Honorable Raphael, join us before the end of the show.